Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to um, flash stock ROM into your Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Flashing stock ROM means you um, install the manufacturer software made by Samsung into your phone. And it's useful sometimes when your phone isn't working properly or if you had a custom ROM and want to switch back to the stock ROM, there's many different possibilities why, why you may want to do it. And for that process, it's going to be quite long and quite complex. So make sure that you follow everything that I'm doing exactly. You will need a computer and a cable that supports data transfer. So make sure that your cable does support it because not all cables are built, uh, not all cables are built the same. Some cables don't support data transfer and then mm, it just won't work, right? So uh, first, we'll need to go to our phone and check a few things. Let's go to the settings. Let's scroll all the way down to about phone and first check the modal name. In my case, it's um, it is G990B2. So I'll just write it down real quick. 990B2. Okay. If you have a different modal, of course, you can still do it. But remember to type that modal in. Now, another part is software information. Go there, then find your baseband version or the kernel version. And as you'll see here, it's your modal at first G990B2 in my case. Then it's double X. Then it may be an S or U. It doesn't matter which one it is here. It can be X, S or U, whatever. Um, and then we need to care about the second letter after double, double X, which in my case is B. This is the revision number. And revision numbers go from 1 up to 9. And after that, go A, B, C in alphabetical order, which means this is actually the 11th revision because after 9, there was A, which was the 10th revision and then 11th revision, which is B. And when we flash stock ROM, we can only ever install the mm, current revision, which in this case is B, or a newer one like C or D or stuff like that. Of course, if your revision is 9, then you can install 9, A or B or C, whatever. And let's go to our computer now to download the correct software. So on our computer, go to the um, browser. I'll put it like right here, maybe so it's all clear. Um, and let's download this software. Search for uh, your modal, which in my case is um, Uh, is, is this and sorry, not software, but firmware that will let me find it. And I'm going to this website because it has the fastest download speeds uh, in my region, but you can go to any website, honestly. Mm. Just wait a moment. It's verifying your human. OK. And now we have the uh, Samsung shown here is the correct model and we should select the CSC code. If you want, you can install the one that you currently have if you go to settings, but it doesn't matter, by the way. Uh, but if you want, you can see in service provider software version, I have TPL U UX. Uh, well, let's find TPL. OK, it stands for Poland, for ex probably for T-Mobile, because um, for th there are like for the same country, there may be several different versions. You can see for Poland, there's OPV, PLS, PRT and TPL somewhere else. And they are just different carrier branded versions. So I could select uh, like a carrier branded one. This one is T-Mobile and I can see it because it has like the T-Mobile apps here and stuff like that. Um, but as I said, it doesn't matter which one you get. It's best to just get your country and it's the most important. I'll get the European Union EUX. EUX stands for non-branded version, so just a clear version. And you can see there are different revisions here. There's 
two A revisions or even more. Yeah, there's five A revisions. And here, if you have the same revision, like for example, if you have the revision from uh, 1st of April 2025 revision B, you can still get the revision B from 1st of March, but you can't get a revision A if you have revision B. I will just get the... Um, I'll actually see which one I have. I have... Mm, sorry, it's it should be somewhere else. March 1. So I'll get the March 1 uh, because I don't want to update currently. Uh, but of course you can get the newest one, even the F. Um, I'll get the oldest available B. Mm. So let's click on it and now download from the server. Uh, there are two different buttons. You can click on whatever one you like. Uh, they will both work. By the way, in the process, I'm, I'm going to quickly make sure I have space on my disk. Yeah, I do. OK, <laughs> um, let's click on download. It's going to start downloading. And in the process, we should also go to our website, hardreset.info because there is there are gonna be a few files um, that we need to do okay so let's consent here close and add if it's there uh, click on download and now search for Samsung drivers and download this driver with this image if there's an ad of course close it um, let's go back Let's go to download. OK. And now one more thing which we'll need, which we will need is Odin. So search for Odin and find the version 3.14.4. Click on download. Click on download again. And now mm, we'll have everything. Now we'll need to unpack all the files and to unpack them, go to your downloads, find the files and I'll get the Samsung driver first. I have WinRAR on my computer. If you don't have it, just go to win-rar.com and download it for free. Uh, you will be able to now right click on the file, go to WinRAR, extract to, and it'll ex extract it. Now let's go to Adin, do the same thing. And once the last, uh, the firmware downloads also, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go to Samsung drivers now, double click on it, and it'll download. Uh, it'll tell me that I already have it installed, but let's click on yes anyway. It'll reinstall it. It's, it's great to reinstall it. Now let's click on next. Uh, select your language, click on next, install. It's going to take a moment. Once it's in, uh, installed, it's important that you restart your computer. Um, so yeah, let's just wait until it, in, it installs. It is super important that you restart your computer after it downloads. It installs because if you don't, then you basically won't be able to use the Samsung drivers. Okay, now once the driver is done and the the computer is restarted, let's go to our downloads. Uh, let's unpack our firmware. So right click on it, WinRAR Extract 2. It will take a moment because you can see it is a big file. Uh, so let's wait for it in the process we can already go to adin go here and go to adin exam click on ok and now we're here now we'll need to get our phone ready in the meantime while uh, the files are getting unpacked so go to the phone make sure that you're not signed into google account because it'll just um, take you more time to later sign in during the setup. So let's go to settings, accounts and backup, manage accounts. And if you have an account here, click on it and click on sign out. Um, now uh, we should turn our phone off by pressing and holding power and volume down. Click on power off and click on power off again. Mm, now, as you can see, it is off and we'll need to put our phone into download mode. And to do it, it is not that easy. Your cable needs to be already plugged into the computer, not yet to the phone. Now start pressing and holding on volume up and volume down. And while doing so, plug it into the computer. Just plug in the cable. Now, if a blue screen shows up, it's great. If it doesn't, while still holding both volume keys, 
hold also the power key until the screen turns on. Now release all the buttons. You'll see this screen shortly press on volume app and now you're in the download mode and if everything was done correctly in logs here you'll see add it and in the com ports you'll see a blue rectangle uh, indicating that your phone is currently connected now let's click on bl here and navigate to our folder so let's go to downloads let's go to our firmware because it's already unpacked and select bl then the, the one the file that starts with bl and click on open wait for a moment now click on ap go to ap mm, file and click on open the ap file loads for a little bit longer because it's the biggest file uh, it typically has like eight gigabytes so <laughs> that's why uh, loads so, so long because it has to verify the file integrity before it can load it here mm. okay let's wait a moment okay now the cp file of course the one that starts with cp within our folder that we're using and csc which is going to be this one not home csc because home csc doesn't erase your data and csc does erase your data and we want that if we're, if we are flashing the system um, because otherwise it still may have some problems that you may want to fix so select the file that begins with csc and now just click on start and everything should go uh, through correctly if you followed all the steps that i did exactly um, if you have an error, then it's most likely either due to your computer not having the drivers or not being restarted after getting the drivers. It may be also due to your um, cable not working properly. Uh, or it may be because you uh, are trying to install older revision that the current bootloader revision you have on your phone. I'm going to get back to you when it's done because it's going to take a few minutes. And as you can see, it is almost done. Yeah, now it's reset and pass. So if you want, you can already unplug the cable or not. It's up to you. Uh, just wait until it boots up. It's gonna take uh, several minutes before it boots up because it's um, because it's um, after a reset and you know with new system, it has to load everything correctly. So uh, just get ready for a little wait and after that you will be able to set up your phone and use it. And now the phone is uh, reset. Let's uh, set it up. Of course you can do it yourself. Um, and I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.